Morning, Feldman. Welcome to Monday Matters. It's beautiful out, and it's the new year, so I figured that, hey, let's go outside and do this outside. Why be stuck in an office, right? Anyway, let's get right to it. Chat GPT. This is the year of AI. That's my prediction. Here's my 2023 prediction. AI goes berserk. Chat GPT is incredible. This Wally nonsense, a bunch of others. You can make music, you can make videos, you can do everything with AI, and of course it's going to be a disaster. Why? Well, because you're not going to really know what's real anymore. From deep fake videos to deep fake blog posts to deep fake art to deep fake everything, everything is a deep fake. The technology is really incredible, and like all of the incredible technology that the web has given us, it'll be abused and be a disaster for people. The bad will probably outweigh the good, but so it goes. I like it, though. I've used ChatGPT for a number of things, and it's very, very impressive. So that's my prediction. I think AI is just going to absolutely explode this year. It doesn't matter. Trump. Trump's tax returns have been released, and of course those were disastrous, everybody expected. He cheated and lied about everything. The January 6th commission has um, recommended that he be charged criminally for all sorts of stuff. I personally would love to see that happen. I don't know if it's going to happen. It's probably not going to happen. Nobody's been charged with anything that Jenny Thomas is getting off scot-free. Um, Ali Alexander, the guy who was instrumental in planning that whole uh, January 6th thing is getting off scot-free. Everyone's getting off scot-free and it's a travesty. But either way, I think Trump's gonna lose juice. Nobody cares about him anymore. He's a complete disaster and toxic, and anybody associated with him is going to go down in flames like that Carrie Lake. It's just over. People are just tired of his nonsense and craziness. You know, you can only take so much craziness. Craziness is fun to a point, and he's reached a point of no return where people just don't want to deal with him. So, Hopefully, Attorney General Merrick Garland does the right thing and charges him, but I don't really have my hopes up. It doesn't matter. To 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 Twitter, to 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 Twitter, it's a Twitter roundup. So Twitter is going crazy as usual. But here's the thing: I want to talk about trolls. I want to talk about that Tate guy. I want to talk about that Nick Adams guy. I shouldn't have to tell you this so far into the game, but you don't have to respond to every troll on Twitter or the internet. Um, the old adage is, is that you just ignore them, and it's still true. I mean, this Nick Adams, he's just some weird guy on Twitter. He posts the stupidest, stupidest things, and everyone goes crazy. I don't understand. Why are you taking this guy seriously? There's no need to take him seriously whatsoever. On a more sinister note, that Andrew Tate, he was arrested for trafficking. And if you are going to respond to a troll, you better be as good as Greta, who just bodied him. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, just ignore them. Just ignore them. You don't have to respond. They do it to make you crazy. And it seems like they're succeeding. You know what I'm saying? This Andrew Tate, he's bad. He's probably not going to make it. He's going to be Epstein, either killed or suicide or whatever, but he's a bad, bad guy, and the fact that anyone's into him is really atrocious and scary to me. Um, another guy that you shouldn't respond to unless you're law enforcement, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to respond to trolls, and your online life will be a lot better. Just block them, block them, mute them. You don't have to see anything from them, and you're just, your online life will be better. Your blood pressure will go down. Follow people you like. Block people you don't. Don't hate follow people. Don't hate respond to people. It's a terrible waste of energy. It's not good for your mental health, and you really should stop doing it. It doesn't matter. Lauren Feldman, laurenfeldman.substack.com. Please subscribe. 
Please share. Please tell a friend. Please have a happy new year.